Hey guys, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. Here's another computer. Come into my shop, nice custom build here. A Corsair case. Not really sure what video card that is. I just got it up on the bench. Can't quite tell. Anyway, this is a little bit of a unique situation with this computer. Uh, this customer states that uh, it started crashing a little bit, um, then was stable, and then he lost uh, uh, internet connection, so he has no network now, uh, or the network is intermittent, which means sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, and then all of a sudden his Windows deactivated. He's changed nothing in here, but now it's ending up on my bench, and I've seen similar issues before with custom builds, especially ones that, that kind of act funny and deactivate, uh, even though you can still get to the desktop. He said there's certain things he can't access uh, on the desktop, so... It sounds to me like there's a hardware issue. I would, I would say in most cases it turns out to be a hardware issue. My job is to narrow down and figure out exactly which component is starting to fail. So this, this, this could be a bit difficult to track down, but I'm going to give it my best shot. It could even be a, a you know dirty power. So I'm just going to power this on and have a look and see exactly you know if i can rep rep replicate his issue see if i can connect to the internet and see uh, if i can narrow things down and figure out where the issue is okay we got it all up and running here get the fans going lights video card fan spun up uh, we're here on his desktop um, i have the network plugged in here see the lights flashing there uh, but he doesn't have any network and the first thing that jumps out at me is there's not even a network icon down here so that was one of his big complaints that he just couldn't connect to the internet um, for some reason he also has the if you can see it there the windows is not activated and weird thing here too is when you go to the search and you want to type something in here I'm typing here uh, doesn't type anything in there, but if you go to the browser, uh, you can type up in there. So it's not a keyboard or USB issue. There is some sort of corruption going on with this. Now we got to figure out whether it's just due to a hardware malfunction or if it's just a simple or crazy Windows 10 corruption. So I'm going to run some fixes on this to see if we can at least uh, maybe try to get his network back. I got to try to start there somewhere. Uh, he's got several drives on here. I got to determine how many drives he has. He has, uh, at least, well, we got a C drive, a D drive, and an E drive. Uh, looks like a 500 gigger here, an 8 terabyte here, and... A terabyte here for a C drive so okay what I have determined is that based on the paperwork I was looking at uh, there is data he has basically he has two m.2s this is an m.2 this is an m.2 so he's got a terabyte m.2 here and a 500 gig m.2 here which can be seen right there he's got a I guess an 8 terabyte mechanical drive that's where his data is that he's really concerned about so we'll stay away from that drive shouldn't be a problem so now that i've confirmed that uh let's have a look at his device manager real quick though uh okay we got an unknown device here and the details on this this is a usb uh some type of hub um i don't think that's causing any of these issues but look at all of this Here's a composite bus emulator. This device configuration is damaged registry. This is all chipset stuff. Microsoft Virtual Emulator. 
virtual drive emulator, uh, corrupt registry. Okay, well, you know, it's kind of crazy because I can't really run a troubleshooter from here because it won't let me. I can't type anything into there, which is wild. So let me see if I can access it through the settings here. Here's network. Let's try that. Okay, it will not let me run network. Look at that. Yeah, this is bad. So, settings. Go to Wi-Fi, network, VPN, whatever. Hit that. And it just blanks out. Hmm. Well, I kind of leaves my hands tied there, doesn't it? I can download any other. Yeah, I can. I can download, or I can open up any other folder here in File Explorer. But it appears that Windows Explorer itself is corrupt. Devices. See, it lets me open up devices. Update and security. It lets me open up that. I can troubleshoot. Aha! I found a back back way in, but it's troubleshooting Windows Update. See, but I want to troubleshoot the network in it. Additional troubleshooters. There we go. Here we go. Internet. Find and fix problems. Okay, let's do that. Run the troubleshooter. An error occurred. I mean, off the bat, it says restricted. He's got something nasty going on here with his computer. I think it's a bit more than just Windows corruption. I think he's got some sort of a crazy hardware issue. But So, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right ahead. And I am going to remove, I'm going to unplug the mechanical drive. And I'm going to remove both M.2s. And I'm going to put my own M.2 in. And we're going to install Windows and see how it acts. How about that? That's what I'm going to try next. Well, here's something interesting that I haven't seen before. So I got the one M.2 out. I pulled the cover off of or the heat sink off of the other M.2. When I pulled it off, that looks like liquid. And I look here, and it's also on this heat sink. The, this is what supposedly draws the you know, heat away from the M.2, but it has somehow started to create some sort of liquid substance, oddly enough. Now, and it's, it's all over. It's, it's here, and it's over here and here on this card, and you got some in here. Uh, I've never seen that before. I mean, that's not good. These are supposed to protect your M.2s, not secrete liquid. So they're very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and inspect it closer. Now, I'm not saying that's affecting anything, but that certainly isn't good. Certainly isn't good. If that gets on anything. It could potentially be a problem. I don't know. It's just something that I just now realized. So let me continue. I've got uh, the mechanical drive unplugged. Got the M.2s out. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my own M.2 down here. And, uh, you know, install Windows. And let's see if we can get any errors or anything. Okay guys, when I put my test M.2 in here, I plugged in my Windows 10 boot disk, my boot USB thumb drive there. I completely forgot that I already had a, a test operating system, Windows 10, loaded on that drive. I powered it on and walked away from it, and this, this booted straight into Windows. It's loading a driver now. Um, it booted straight into Windows off this old install um, from a previous test bench. And... Um, well, 
needless to say, uh, we have internet. We have internet. And everything works in the search. I can type in there. Um, you know, everything appears to be in working order. I, I'll tell you, <clears throat> I, and I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Let, let's see if this is activated. When is update account? Oh, let's go to updates and see. It's just doing all the updates here. Uh, let's do activation. See, it's activated. I I I can't believe this, but and I I'm very concerned. See this. This is what his operating system is installed on. That's wet. Because of this, somehow, I don't know how that has happened. It looks like this material, whatever this material is made of, when it somehow heated up, started excreting this weird liquid crap. It's a little sticky, but kind of slimy at the same time it is soaked into his um, M.2 here and the fact that I'm sitting here running normally I wouldn't trust this drive and I, I and I wouldn't if, if I replace that drive am I am I really gonna put this heat sink back on it with that material on there like that I don't like that idea and this this you know what else concerns me is, is you know I've got high-end computers of my own that I use these on. You know, is it, is it going to do that to my um, to mine too and other customers? I couldn't imagine that. Yeah, because see, you can even see where it started to it's secrete that stuff around the edges here too. So this is this is a, a gigabyte Oris, and they use these. You can see some on that chip right there. The chip right there you can see some there so I have mounted this drive uh, on my bench computer and I have run uh, clear disk info on it to test the health of this drive and it's coming back hundred percent healthy it came right up no problem um, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to pop this back into this machine and I'm going to try to run a few commands to see if we can maybe try to uh, correct some of this it's corruption windows is corrupt on this drive and it's a healthy drive according to the tools that I've run on it so I want to do a few things to attempt to try to uh, correct some of the corruption I really doubt it's going to work um, but I think ultimately I'm going to end up reinstalling windows on this drive uh, I'm going to wipe it off I'm going to wipe that liquid off of there uh, and install it but it's concerning. Is it malfunctioning because of this liquid? I mean, it's very concerning. Okay, I've cleaned off that moisture or whatever it was off this drive. Some drives don't have this paper label on, on this side of the drive. Some of them have it on this side. But just imagine if that was not there. Imagine if that label was not there, which some M.2s are like that. You know, for instance, I mean, just imagine if that label was not there to protect this material completely I mean that'd be disastrous for a M.2 drive so is this a concern to you guys as techs or as computer builders would this be a concern leave a comment down below and let me know to me it is and let me know down below if any of you have ever experienced or seen this before let me know if you think I should put this heat sink back on here. It's supposed to protect it, but it's looking like it might hurt it more than protect it when it's, if it's doing that, right? Or should I just clean it off and install it anyway? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Well, this is what I now get when I boot to his original C drive. So it looks like the bootloader has been corrupt too now. So look, I've already spoken with him. There's nothing on that C drive that
He wants drive test healthy. I think I'm just going to go ahead and install a fresh install of Windows 10 on this computer. Get it fully updated and drivers and everything and see how she performs. I got a feeling it's going to be okay. How Windows got corrupted in such a way, your guess is as good as mine. I think I am just going to clean this up and reuse it. I, you know, it, something needs to help cool those drives, right? I mean, it doesn't have to, but that's what this is designed to do, right? Uh, and I guess in hopes of that it doesn't start secreting some sort of chemically something fluid. I, I don't, I don't know. And I, and I can't, and I, you know, honestly, I, I, I can't say whether any of this fluid or liquid or whatever that is had anything to do with the Windows corruption. I just know it surprised me when I saw it. I'm going to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff in the future. And maybe if you have some computers that you've had running for quite some time with M.2s that have this type of a heat sink on it, maybe consider next time you vacuum it out, next time you blow out the dust, to maybe check underneath there just to make sure it's not doing this, because that could potentially, in my opinion, be a problem, especially if there's no label on the top of your M.2. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, install Windows here on this drive, put her all back together, and I will update you when I'm done doing that. Well, everyone, here we are. Everything's back together. New, fresh Windows installed here. All the latest chipset drivers, graphics drivers. I'm going to do a little bit of a stress testing here before I close this out. But, you know, as you can see here, you can just go ahead and type search normally. No problem. We got, we got network access here. That isn't a problem. We are activated. Check that. It's activated. Everything looking good. Listen, it's a Windows corruption. Don't know why. Everything seems to be operating normally. It's just one of those things. Perhaps it was because of that heat sink that's on the M.2. Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's the only thing that jumped out at me. Or it could just be one of those things to where Windows just got corrupted. It happens. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.